Hello again, I'm Pastor Jerry Davis and welcome to Power Surge Wednesday. You know, the world has faced some hard times these past few months. We've seen protests erupt across our nation, total lockdown across the world, wars escalating in remote parts of the earth, as well as natural disasters that we have almost grown accustomed to hearing about on the news. Many people are at their wits end trying to figure out how do we survive this? And some people are just saying, how do we survive, period? Our government is trying to put together a stimulus package that would tide us over until things get better. But so far, they can't even agree on how much or what will it take to get the job done, while many American families suffer. If we've ever needed the Lord before, let me tell you something, we sure do need him now. But when I find myself in such a position, and listen, I've been there before. I just believe God at his word. I pray his word. I meditate on his word. I pray for his deliverance. And I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that nothing we experience escapes God's attention. Because my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. But we need them here, not in glory. Amen. 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 So I make my request to God in faith and I wait to receive the things we need. Did you know that when David wrote Psalms 23, you know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. David was saying that the Lord is a shepherd to him. This sets up an explicit metaphor in which humanity, or at least the community of believers, is a flock of sheep tended by God. David says that with God as our protector, we won't lack anything we need. Verse 5 says, he would prepare a table in the presence of of our enemy, that God would prepare a table in the presence of our enemy. A prepared table represents everything you need. It's already prepared. But here's the thing. He'll do it in the presence of our enemy. That means we won't lack anything. But my point is, what I'm trying to get across to you is that in the presence of our enemy, that means that's going to be done in the earth because we have no enemies in heaven. Need is an enemy. Lack is an enemy. There is no lack or need in heaven. Sickness is an enemy. Unemployment is an enemy. There is no sickness or nobody unemployed in heaven. So he's going to bless us right here, right here in the earth. And you know what I believe? I believe God is preparing a great big stimulus package for us right now. So don't worry whether or not the Senate will ever get it together. And I'm sure they will. I'm sure they're going to come up with something. And when they do, we're going to take that too. That's just icing on the cake. But, what, but remember what Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. He says, but as it is written, I'm telling you, it is written, eyes hadn't seen, ears haven't heard, neither has it entered into the heart of a man what God has prepared for those that love him. Listen, our stimulus package has already been prepared, so get ready to receive your blessing. I'm Pastor Jerry Davis, and may God continually bless you. You got something coming.